try and bring this situation to a safe and peaceful resolution. We are under siege here by you lot. What is it that is going to bring this to a peaceful resolution? You get in your way, what is that? You hostage taking my son? You illegally arresting me on false claims or charges? What is it you're after, officer? You are a criminal, not me. You tell me, what is it you're, what are you holding us to ransom for? to break entry right don't talk to me like some idiot okay i'm a woman full call on deborah full stop okay and all your collusive uh, manipulative ways are not going to convince me that you are good people because you have acted criminally yesterday and today and we are recording your crimes and we will make sure that you're held to account in the long term or the short term You've seen Jet. I put him. Uh, I, I I stood him at the window. You've seen him. No, today, today, I I put him in front of the window. Um, to police so the police him. officer saw him, and he heard that there was no contract and that he was perfectly fine. Okay, Jet's all right today. Speak, Jet. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, good. Hi, Jet. Hello. The only thing that's scary is all of you coming onto our property. We're not coming in at the minute. Jet, what we'd like is for you to come out. Yeah, no. To do what? So we can check Jet well and we can work with social services. I'm no, we're not working with social services. We have no contract with your agency. We have no contract with the corporation. Have you reviewed the paperwork now? No, we haven't because we don't consent to receiving the paperwork. So there is no contract and there is no consent. We do not require your service. You are forcing yourselves on us. You're forcing our, um, your, your services on us. And that is illegal. Are you building experts? Okay, so you're not building experts, right? But we actually have building experts. We have surveyors. We have clerk uh, of works, which you have been sent information of, okay? You are not experts, nor are we, okay? And you have been provided with all the possible reassurance any individual might want for our safety in this building, and you have ignored it. Yeah, but we've got a, we have a full building survey from Dartmoor, um, sorry, what's it called? Dartington National Trust. Okay. Yeah. And that building survey, okay, is going to be provided when we finished our technical research, which is going on right now. As I said, we have builders in the building right now. now. Yeah. And they're bloody freaking out because they're like, what the fuck's going on? You're not a building expert. Why would you want to speak to our builders? <laughs> well, we're obviously we're we're talking to them. We're telling them that we're being harassed by uh, uh, by um, Emma Youngs uh, with that she stood on a building uh, um, a bin yesterday, breaching health and safety. They are aware of that, and uh, you know my um, my report to Exeter Council was based on her breaching health and safety. We're very aware of health and safety, and we've got huge amount of risk assessment forms on the site, which we're which we're on uh, uh, doing you know managing daily. I mean, it's just just crazy what's going on here. Well, not just your concerns, but we're not stupid for our own peace of mind. Obviously, we're not going to stay in a building where there's any risk to any of us. And before we even we even came in here, we had done a lot of research on the building and we're continuing to do remedial work safely. 
and we're continuing to have site surveys done. I mean, this is harassment what's going here. This is aggravated trespass. Look, I'm not getting into a conversation with you. You are not my friend. I don't know you, and I'm not obliged to answer your questions. We don't, uh, we're not, we don't answer your questions. We're not obligated to answer your questions. Yeah, we, you know, we are, um, uh, you know, we are, uh, we, we have all the, uh, uh, the comforts that one could desire in life, given that we're living in a building that needs renovating. Yeah. And, and any renovations are big. Exactly. It's not going to, obviously, it's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect, is it? Yeah. Uh, we're staying in a designated area. Oh, and by the way, your disruptions and uh, all the things that you've done, that's actually uh, had us moving to parts of the site, which are supposed to be off bounds today. So you've actually helped us to breach our own health and safety regs by uh, forcing us to come to different parts of the building because you've been, you know, knocking on windows, looking through windows, this, that and the other, which we have been advised by our own clerks of works to stay out of. So in rather than you assisting us in any way, you're actually causing harm. You're actually breaching our health and safety regulations. So what, what do you say to that? That's your own fault. That's your own fault. But Jet 16, uh, yeah, but I mean, you, this conversation was had yesterday. This is harassment because you keep coming back. You saw Jet yesterday. He said there was no contract. He said he did not consent. Oh, right? we're getting paid for our time. Yeah, no, you're. We're not getting paid for our time. You're getting paid for your time. Well, you must have some clear problems. No, no, it's uh, we're looking at water today because uh, your colleague uh, is making uh, allegations. She's providing no reports to say that there's any problem with uh, 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 Legionella. Excuse me? Yeah, that's right. But we've got we've done a risk assessment and there is no legionnaire. So we've asked her to produce a report which she hasn't produced because you're not building experts. <coughs> we, we said to her, if you are making a claim, prove it. Yeah. OK. Yeah, well, we're not, as I said to as I said to Emma, we're using bottled water at the moment, tons of it. And uh, I mean, we're not, you know, I mean, you're not talking to uh, idiots here, you, talk, you, you know, and uh, I don't know why you're calling me the sheriff either, because obviously that's not a title I'm using at this moment. OK, it's an elected position uh, that was given to me by the people. It's not a title that I uh, that I use on a regular basis. Uh, you know, I'm a law advocate. That is my title. If you want to use a title, I'm a lawful advocate. I'm a I'm a uh, legally qualified and I'm lawfully qualified. I study family law. OK, I you know, I know a lot about my rights and I know a lot about my remedies. OK, and you are the ones that are acting criminally here, not myself and not my son and, and not the builders. And, uh, you know, we're doing everything correctly.